wana wa Mungu wanaishi kwa afya huku wakimsubiri Kristo. Pamoja nami ni wangapi tungependa kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu daktari ili aweze kupata nafasi ya kuongea na kutuelekeza mchana huu. Na na watu wakubali. Pamoja nami narudia ni wangapi wanakubali daktari Kempa aweze kusimama na kutuletea ujumbe wa siku ya leo. Na daktari karibu sana unakaribishwa. Asante. Karibu daktari. Asante sana. Wapendwa katika Kristo na wasalimu wa mjambo. Amjambo. Amjambo tena. Na wakaribisheni tena katika kipindi cha afya. Nashukuru Mungu kuwa pamoja nasi kuanzia asubuhi hadi kipindi hiki tunapoenda kujifunza mambo ya afya. Kwa hivyo tutakuwa na kipindi kizuri wale ambao wanijui naitwa Daktari Kefa ni missionary nafanya East Central Africa tuko best e, Tanzania pia hapa Kenya tunakuwa na Nairobi pamoja na Mwanza tumekuwa Dar es Salaam na pia nafanya katika nchi mbalimbali lakini baada ya kupata matatizo ya kukanyagwa na gari 2020 2020 Novemba tarehe 25 ndio nilikanyagwa na gari ilipita juu yangu lakini Mungu akaniponya ndio maana nimeletea habari njema kwamba Yesu anaponya nachukua nafasi hii nikukaribisha kwa njia kipekee na tunaenda kujifunza juu ya afya wanafunzi mweze kuwa makini sana maana kupitia nyinyi ndio watu wote wameza kupata ujumbe huo maana ilikuwa tuje kuwafundisha lakini Mungu anatupenda zote nashukuru pia president uh, wa Fili South uh, Nyanza South East Nyanza Field eh, Pastor Gerimbe Mungu akubariki sana na familia yako wa, eh, wachungaji wote viongozi wote katika field hii Mungu awabariki sana Mgeni njoo mwenyeji apone ndio kaulimbiu ambayo ipo kwa sasa afya ni uchaguzi sio kubatisha na Yesu alipokuwa duniani Alichukua nyakati nyingi kuhudumia wagonjwa. Ni kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya 4 fungu la 23. Alienda katika Galilaya, Shamu na akaingia katika sinagogi akifundisha habari njema ya upovu, akihubiri na kufanya uponyaji. Yesu alifanya kazi tatu. Alipokuwa duniani na kazi hiyo ameipa kanisa lake liweze kufanya. Ndio maana katika kanisa letu kutoka general conference katika eh, union zote division hata kanisa maalia tuna kauli mbiu nitakwenda kwa kujihusisha ni wakati wa uinjilisti nami nafanya kazi ya uinjilisti ikiwa ni mkono wa kuume wa injili Yesu aliweza kufanya kazi hiyo tatu na tutaenda kujifunza juu ya afya na maana Yesu alichukua nyakati nyingi kuweza kuponya. Nashukuru ambao wamebatizwa, wanaobatizwa leo. Maana Yesu alisema twende tukawafanya mataifa tukiwafundisha wakipata kweli yote wabatize kwa jina la Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Yesu alifanya kazi tatu. Tuombe Mtakatifu baba wetu ketie chombo nduni na kushukuru tena katika nyakati hii ambao ni siku ya sabato siku ya furaha siku ya utakaso siku ya uponyaji na siku ya baraka maana ulitenda siku hii kwa ajili ya wote ambao wanakuabudu ambao ni watoto wako waje mbele zako na baba yetu naomba utubariki hapa Nyabitai baba yetu bariki field hii bariki makanisa yote bariki washiriki wote bariki wageni wote bariki usomo hili baba yetu nakushukuru 
na kwenda kunena pamoja na watoto wako juu ya afya niongoze roho wako mtakatifu nikumbushe yote maana wewe ni mwalimu mwema katika Kristo naomba nikiamini amen kanisa tunaishi katika kipindi cha kufunga historia ya ulimwengu na kusoma manuscript sa, eh, 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 manuscript uh, 78 1900 nasema let the church arise and shine let every family practice self denial doing all they can to improve their own condition those who are truly on the Lord's side will be self denying and self sacrificing they will eat and drink to the glory of God if you sing to corrupt soul and body by intemperance kanisa tuamuke na tuangaze nuru yetu umetufikia tunahitaji kuweza kufanya kazi ya Mungu but if the church members do not do the part of God Mungu ataondoa kinara chako ni kwamba tunahitaji tuweze kusimama shughuli za afya ni muhimu sana katika kipindi hiki cha kufunga historia hata duniani kanisani popote watu wana changamoto ya afya Testimony to the church volume 7 page 63 nasema let our people show they have a living interest in medical missionary work let them prepare themselves for usefulness by studying the books that have been written for our instruction in this line these books deserve much more attention and appreciation than they have received much that is for benefit of all to uh, benefit of all to understand have been written for the special purpose of instruction in the principles of health yani tusome vitabu tuweze kupata maarifa ndiposa uh, uweze kuwa na maarifa usome vitabu waingilisti wa vitabu wako hapa mimi ni mmoja wapo wa waingilisti waingilisti na nafanya katika uh, uh, kitengo hiki cha uponyaji kwa hivyo unahitaji msome vitabu mweze kupata maarifa tuna kitabu sharubati za afya health juices kuna kitabu healthy food chakula kifaa cha kwa afya you need to study these books na wasomea haya baadaye nitaingia mweze kupata kwenyewe juu ya afya lakini tupate msingi katika hayo Minister of Healing page 320 inasema our Sabbath keeping families should keep their minds filled with helpful principles of health reform and other lines of truth that they may help to their neighbors be practical missionaries gather up all knowledge possible that will help to combat the disease this may be done by those who are diligent students but few can take a course of training in our medical institution but all can start our health literature and become intelligent on this important subject yani watu wachache waweze kwenda shule wote tusome vitabu tupate maarifa haya ndiposa hata katika East Central Africa Division tuna chuo chetu kipo Rwanda ambacho ni cha ku train wa missionary ambao tutafanya kazi katika kutibu na pia kupeleka uchumbe huu imesema wachache waende shule wote wasome vitabu Soma vitabu tupate maarifa. Education. Nasumzia juu ya education. Councils on Health page 557. Nasema the education of students in medical missionary lines is not complete unless they are trained to do to work in connection with the church and the ministry yani hata hapa wanafunzi mnaposoma hapa mnavoelekezwa mambo ya kiungu mambo ya masomo yetu na study za maisha ili tuweze kuwa tegemeo au maana vile kiongozi wetu alisema sisi ni kanisa la leo na la kesho When men and women are formed characters with God can endorse when they are self-sacrificed 
have been full made when they are ready for the final test at Swaziko Manuscript uh, 1901 utenda kusoma hiyo ni kwamba sasa hivi asubuhi niliweza kusoma nilikuwa nasoma juu ya appetite diamka saa tisa na nikaweza kuona Yesu alipokuja duniani kitu kiliyomwangusha mwanadamu appetite na Yesu kitu cha kwanza alitaka kwa ukombozi ni kwa control mambo ya appetite that's why he fasted for 40 days 40 nights and kupitia hiyo we can stand to control appetite watu wengi ni wakonjwa kwa sababu ya chakula nasoma ya mwisho ili niweze kuingia tusome hii nasema as we near the close of time we must rise higher and still higher on the pressure of health reform and christian temperance presenting it in a more positive and sided manner we must strive continually to educate the people not only by our words but to our practice precept and practice combined have a training influence ndio maana tunajifunza ndio maana tunahitaji tuwe wa missionary tuweze kuelezea na majani wetu waweze kujua jinsi tunavyofanya tunafundisha jinsi ya kupika vyakula tunafundisha jinsi ya kutengeneza sharubati za afya katika ulimwengu wa magonjwa dunia sasa hivi wanakuja kugundua kwamba vile mtumishi wa Mungu aliweza kuelekeza vivi hivyo tunafata sahi kipindi cha corona ilikuwa kwamba nao mikono tenge yani kukua na fuata zile principles ni kwa sababu yote imeandikwa na tunahitaji kufuata hiyo tuweze kuwa na afya njema nataka nizungumzie tazungumzie juu ya magonjwa nitazungumzia juu ya sharubati za afya na pia nitaweza kuzungumzia uh, uh, mtakuwa na nafasi ya kuuliza maswali kwa sababu tuna kipindi kingine uh, uh, kitaendelea duniani watu ni wagonjwa ni nini inasababisha watu kuwa wagonjwa namba moja ni kufunja amri za Mungu kanuni za afya unaposoma 15:26 kutoka ah ni kutoka sifika kwa kompyuta ah imekosea 15:26 Exodus inasema kutoka 15:26 15:26 kutoka nayo na maandiko matakatifu yanasoma hivi 26 and said if you be diligently heed to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i put none of this of the diseases on you which are brought unto the Egyptian for I am the Lord who heals you Mungu anaponya kwa hivyo watu ni wagonjwa kwa sababu ya nini kufunja nini kanuni za afi na amri za Mungu namba 2 Magonjwa yako magapi duniani? Nataka uweze kujua picha hii. Magonjwa yamewekwa katika makundi makuu mane Ya kwanza, food and water diseases. Two, chemical and drug diseases. Three, microorganism diseases. Ambao katika microorganism tuna bacteria, tuna virus, tuna nematode, tuna fungi. Nematode ni minyo. Watu wengi ni wagonjwa kwa sababu hatoi minyo atoi afanyi de warming unahitaji kula inavyostahili na unahitaji kutoa kufanya de warming kwa hiyo katika magonjwa minyo inaleta bacteria virusi fungus corona ilipokuja iliingia katika kundi gani virusi si ndio lakini watu wengi walishangaa corona imeingia 2019 corona iliingia 1918 
Encyclopedia Natural Remedies, page 755, utaenda kusoma. 745. Maana ukiwa corona ilipoingia bed rest na ufuata precaution hizo nyingine. Kwa hivyo watu wengi ni wagonjwa kwa sababu wamekataa kufuata mapenzi ya Mungu. Na magonjwa nimesema yako katika makundi mane Mwingine anasema na blood pressure, na sukari, na saratani, na nini kufunja kanuni za afya. Katika ulaji na unywaji inachangia kuleta magonjwa. Kwa hivyo tutaenda kuangalia hayo. Na katika tuna celebration celebration tunaangalia eh, katika zile kanuni nane za afya tunazipata ziko kale tulikuwa nafundisha juu ya nista nutrition exercise water sunlight temperance air rest and trust in god genesis 1:29 begu mboga na matunda chakula mwanadamu unaposoma hiyo mungu alitupatia begu mboga na matunda iweze kuwa chakula chetu mambo ya diet chakula ulacho kinafaa katika mboga tuna mboga mboga tuna mboga spinach tuna cabbage tuna derema derema inaitwa parsley alba tuna mboga mbalimbali tuna mbegu hazelnut walnut apricot brazil nut cashew nut na mbegu mbalimbali hizo ni mbegu nitakuja kuelezea faida zake tuna uh, matunda mbalimbali tutaweza kutumia kwa mfano sema limao machungwa maembe kiwi kuna matunda mbalimbali pomegranate komamanga ambapo ukiniuliza zaratani nakwambia jinsi tuna mix na hiyo vingine na mboga mboga tuna karoti tuna matango tuna mboga za majani mgagani tunaita chinsaga saga munafu managu mboga kama hizo imeandikwa katika mwanzo 129 katika hiyo Mungu ametupatia naenda kwa ufupi tu uh, tuna mambo ya mboga mboga mambo ya matunda tuna uh, mbegu niweza kuzungumzia hizo kuna mbegu za pumpkin tunaita mbegu za maboga kwa hivyo unahitaji kujua hiyo unahitaji kufanya mazoezi moyo ufanye kazi vizuri damu isunguke vizuri toa cholesterol unahitaji kunywa maji maji na timu magonjwa 40 pressure kipanda natumia maji pressure na shuka 30 ikiwa 200 itafika mpaka 160 kwa maji peke yake imeandikwa wapi Ezekiel 4 11 na unywe maji kwa kuyapima nusu ya ini mara kwa mara you should take water by measure hapo vanini at set times ukiwa na cramps natumia maji ukiwa na pressure kichwa kinauma tutaweza kutumia maji unatumia maji jua hii tunaota hii ni dawa pia watu wengi wajui kuna mama alikuwa amekaa kwenye ndoa ajapata mtoto nilimwandikia dose ya kukaa kwa jua dakika 30 kila siku na tengeneze juice ya passion carrot na nanasi na kwambie hormones ili balance akapata ujauzito ukitaka boy girl twins tafambe chakula gani utakula Mungu ametupatia jua hili inasaidia. Pamoja na intervention zingine, leo anaita ni. Lakini upande wako ndio utafata hili. Haya. 20 kuna ile mkutano tulikuwa na hapo. Karibu na mmokoro hapo. Si tuloi fanya hapa ule muda. Nani ameniambia hapa? Kwa hivyo. Kwa hivyo you need to eat for the glory of God. You need to change your lifestyle. Unahitaji kupata pumziko. Nguvu ya kesho inatengenezwa leo. Unahitaji kutumaini Mungu. God is the source of healing. Mimi nilipopata ajali, na vile hospitali masome jiji, bado beto yongo kwale. Na ni bro to monto yongo kwale atakufa. But I trusted in God. Like the man of God ameza kusema we trust in God. This field, mtaishanga. Mungu anaipeleka, ataitendea, na itasonga mbele watu watakuja kujifunza. Ni kwamba tumtegemee Mungu. Mimi nilimtegemea Mungu katika uponyaji. Ubongo niendea sehemu moja. Kichwa imepasuka. Trust in God. Zaburi 103 fungu la kwanza hadi la 3, maandiko matakatifu inasema, 
Tufisahau fadhili zake Mwenyezi Mungu. Yeye yeah, asamehe dhambi zote na aponyae magonjwa yote. Kwa hiyo ugonjwa gani umebaki? Huko na ugonjwa gani la kusumbua? Peleka kwa Yesu. If you want healing, number one, trust in God. Number two, change your lifestyle. Number three, do detox. Toa sumu mwilini. Watu wengi wana sumu mwilini. Nikiwapima tuna mashine tunapima. Sumu ambayo inasumbua watu duniani. Sumu ambayo zinachangia watu kuwa wagonjwa. Mercury, arsenic, lead, antimony na zingine. Ndio maana dunia sasa hii kuna mchakato joko yaani kupunguza sumu duniani, mambo ya ecosystem lakini tunjua kwamba tunapo hewa tunapumua lead inakuwa nyingi na lead ikiwa nyingi kwa mwili wa binadamu inaua capillaries na ua mishipa number 2 ina affect digestion enzymes number 3 moyo ya mapafu na mfumo wote sasa watu wengi unaenda niliambiwa mwingine anaenda hospitali na dua na ugonjwa na anaumwa bala sasa watajuaje uko na lead you need to do detox ndio maana tunapopima tunaangalia kiwango cha lead inastahili 0.05 to 0.6 napata mtu yuko 1.5 unapona shida change your lifestyle do detox toa sumu mimi na ratiba kila miezi mitatu na kunywa mkao mkaratusi kabla tuende pasaka yani sabato ijayo tutakuwa na mesa ya Bwana hii wiki na kunywa mkao mkao mkaratusi unaondoa sumu 205 heavy metal like arsenic mercury lead poison snake bite dog bite some encyclopedia medicinal plants book 1 page 304 305 Tapata information hiyo Chako must be finally ground Inatoa 205 toxin Hata Australia yetu Loma Linda Kipindi cha corona muliona kwa YouTube